Well, with interest rates so low, corporations issued an awful lot of debt in 2021, particularly in the high yield sector. While that issuance may slow in 2022, still could be a popular area for investors. Let's talk more about the outlook for high yield with Oleg Milentyev. He is Bank of America Global Research Head of High Yield Credit Strategy. Oleg, thank you for being here. I want to start, I think, with what the big issue is in the minds of investors across asset classes, and that is rates going up. What are the particular implications for high yield of the outlook that the Fed is going to be changing the balance sheet and raising rates? Yeah, so um, high yield, I guess there are two things to know about this asset class. Um, first and foremost, the number one risk for investors is credit risk. Uh, and the good news is usually these two things are going in the opposite direction, meaning you have either credit risk going higher or interest rate risk. And so right now, of course, is the time to be more concerned about interest rate risk, which happens to be a secondary consideration for high yield investors, again, just because the exposure to that risk is lower. Having said that, it is a risk. Um, it, we have seen Fed peeling uh, essentially 180 degrees in the last couple of months. And this, this is certainly something on uh, investors' minds today. Well, like we have a lot of uh, traders on our platform that uh, aren't too familiar with credit markets or don't follow it as closely as you. Are you seeing anything in, in credit markets that may blow back onto the portfolios of equity investors soon? Um, so, yes, so there is a connection between these two markets. They're not perfectly correlated. And in fact, much of the time they could be going their own ways. Uh, based on their own technicals and fundamentals. But if you see extreme pressure in a corner of a credit market, equity investors would generally know about it. Uh, such extreme pressures don't happen often by, by definition. And uh, this is not something we necessarily expect to happen in 2022. So with you know, the risk uh, of rising rates in mind and potential spillover into credit and to some extent to, to high yield. Um, this is not something that we expect to derail the high yield market, but still have some effect on it. And in your most recent note, Oleg, you looked at the particular sectors where maybe we have seen some capital misallocation because of the loose financial conditions, because of the ample liquidity um, out there. Um, talk to us about some of the, the areas that may be most at risk in this environment. Sure. Yeah, so this is something we do frequently. We, we just like this approach of essentially following the money, right? It's We, we don't always know sort of the ultimate resolution to um, you know, some of the macroeconomic trends, but following the money is, is a simple approach that helps us understand where potential excesses might be building. And so we've done this, as you mentioned, just in this latest note, uh, and we've identified three sectors where uh, the increase in debt, increase in leverage uh, has been most significant. Those include transportation, automotive, and utilities. And if you think, just kind of a, take a step forward from here and just think what is a common denominator across these sectors. One is they all COVID exposed. So, so to some extent, you may say, look, this is not necessarily the normal capital raisings that took place here. It's, it's in reaction to, to COVID. These, these, these companies have been rebuilding their balance sheets. Uh, maybe the other common denominator across them is they happen to be more uh, of a focus for ESG investors, just because infrastructure is, is a big part of those uh, flows and portfolios. And so maybe to some extent, we're beginning to see over allocation of capital uh, as a function of popularity of uh, ESG mandates. And so what then are the implications for those particular areas? Are there, are there higher default risks then? Is, is that what, yes. Well, you, I think you, first and foremost, you want to be aware of what those flows are, and you want to be sort of cognizant of um, potential uh, for, let's say, overcapacity building in these sectors. Once you have overcapacity, it's more difficult to maintain profitability. Once you have that, margins come, come under pressure, 
And essentially, it all goes down to the quality of balance sheet and the quality of the income statement. So I would not necessarily jump immediately from you know seeing significant inflow of capital to higher default risk, but it certainly puts you in a corner of the market where you just spend a little more time uh, analyzing the sector and watching uh, uh, some of the other metrics. Right, and also suggests you know what we already know that a lot of the companies, particularly when you talk about transportation. There's a lot of stress in that area right now. Oleg, thank you for being here. Oleg Milentiev is the Bank of America Global Research Head of High Yield Credit Strategy. Thank you.